Hey guys, Wandering Otter here. I'm trying out a new OC guide for review, so I'm not just limited to MLP. Yes, I can see the irony in that. If you have any suggestions on stuff I can review in the future, please leave a comment down below. It would be very helpful. Thank you very much. Now it's time for ponies! Wait, the school episode? Son of a- Friends. So we get some nice exposition with a free map expansion in Twilight's Castle with everybody giving their thoughts on it, and Abject Finish states the obvious. Y'all think that's why the map grew? Friendship quest beyond Equestria? Ding ding ding! What do we have for her, Johnny? Not even a princess can do whatever she likes when it comes to shaping young pony minds. OBJECTION! Yeah, unless you want to go tiny and just scream off with their heads and do whatever you want after. I mean, you're ruler over the land and you control the sun. I don't really think you need to follow a bunch of stuck up tricks rules on a school. Plus, at the end, she just goes around the rules anyway with a loophole and delivers a nice smirk. So why does the scene bother me so much? Meh, whatever, let's just skip over this before I go into some big argument about it. After that, we're introduced to our big bad of the episode, a Chancellor Naysay. To gallop off on your adventures. I actually kind of like this guy. <gasps> you what?! Don't get me wrong, he's a big butt, he's racist, close-minded, and a jerk. But come on, his magic is cool, he's got a nice design, he's got a neat attitude, he doesn't take bullcrap from others, and he can be a good enough villain for this season finale or maybe the next one. Plus, he's voiced by Reese and Marsh. Most of you might recognize him from, say, Pinky and the Brain, he voices the brain, but I recognize him from Shadow Showdown and it's Master Fun. So, Chancellor Nace is more like the guy I'd like to see get a beat down, and I love that about it. And by the power of my bad transitioning skills, I give you my favorite part of this episode. <laughs> Buy now for only $9.99. I like this. Well, I wouldn't say that they are qualified to teach literature and all that, I would say they're more qualified to teach friendship lessons. But you may be wondering, what possibly ponderous ponies can we perceive in this episode? Egad, not just ponies, we get to the verse 6 with a pony named Sambar, a griffin called Dallas, who I swear has like wonderful uniform colors as his fur. Am I anyone who noticed that? Nah. A young Yona Yak, Sandra Jr. Smolder, the Princess of Stairs Silverstream, and my favorite, Ocellus the Changeling. Shapeshifters are a master race. <laughs> I think all these kids are great. They have some good design. My least favorite is Sandbars, mainly because he kind of resembles an OC I'd make when using a base. And overall, the only one I didn't really like was Yona. She just seems like every other Yak, just smaller and clumsy destruction instead of the intended destruction. But it's really just nitpicking on my part. They're all good enough, each with unique designs and personality. I think. I haven't really seen any other episodes in the later season except for Mod Couple. Something else I noticed that really besides the first six, there's really nobody else in the school that's not a non-pony. At least none that I noticed. That could have gone very bad. I mean, what if no other creature were to stand in one person except for one? That one creature, especially if it was someone like Ocellus in the beginning, they could have felt very excluded and sticking out like a sore thumb. They'd probably be very shy and eventually probably get bullied. I understand it's probably baby steps, which is a good thing, you don't want to toss yourself in the deep end without knowing how to swim, but I think two of each species would have been much better than just one, and then the rest would be ponies. So I've sort of jumped around enough, I might as well summarize what I think. Sorry, once I get into more of a habit of this stuff, I'll be more organized with my thoughts on the reviews. Anyway, the song is boring to me mainly because I hate school and I've listened to tons of MLP music when I'm doing art, so I guess I'm kind of desensitized to it. Nay say from start to finish is a love to hate guy, I can't wait to see him getting hoofed in the face. Main six are enjoyable as usual except for Twilight's freak out part I found it kind of lackluster compared to the others. The diverse six are all good with some faults and some positives so well balanced to me. Spike is best me dragon I hear he gets wings in this season so I'm looking forward to that episode. Anyway that's pretty much all I got to say for this episode I hope you guys liked it it was a pretty good episode to me. It was definitely up there for a season starter. My friend who helped me make the script and stuff was my uh, Dolly from Amino. She has her own little YouTube. I'll put a little link in the description for you if you want to check her out. She makes like speed rolls and stuff and I hear she's going to be making a special. So something to look forward to. But anyway, I guess like, subscribe if you want. And thank you very much for watching.